So, I'm going to make a classic fish pie. There's a few stages to it, but it is something I think you want to sort of learn how to make because it's one of those dishes that, that is, you know, if you said, well, when would be a good time to eat fish pie? I'd say, well, when would not be a good time to eat fish pie? But any, any big occasion, I'm going to do this one for six people, but you can make it for 10, 12. I made it for the film crew a couple of uh, weeks ago and they just loved it. It is classic British fish pie. So to start with, I'm going to flavour some milk because I'm going to poach my um, fish in flavoured milk and I'll explain why I'm doing that shortly. So into that pan there I've put a quarter of a large onion studded with two cloves which will flavour the milk, about a pint of milk, bay leaf, and I'm just going to let that come to the boil. It's a very simple core bouillon. This is quite a rich dish I have to say. I'm going to add 300 mils, that's half a pint in old money, of double cream to that. Might put a bit more onion in there, why not? Okay, while that is coming to the boil, I just want to talk about the fish that's going to go into my fish pie. First of all, everything skinned. I have two nice pieces of hake, and I would suggest hake or cod or haddock to go into the fish pies. The next thing which I think is probably, I don't know if other people do this, but it's something that I particularly like in a fish pie is good quality smoked fish. And this is smoked haddock. But as you can see, it's not dyed smoked haddock. That gives it that sort of lurid yellow color. It's just naturally dyed by the smoke. So just again, I'm gonna cut that smoked haddock into smaller pieces. So the last thing here, which is I love in fish pies, is a good, piece of monkfish which as you probably know is very firm flavoured fish so that's all ready to go just quickly the other ingredient seafood ingredient you don't have to put prawns in it but it's really nice when you're eating a fish pie and you suddenly find a great big prawn in your pie these are already cooked so that's simmering away nicely now and ready to poach the fish like that and I am a bit careful not to sort of overcook the fish, so it's going to be in there probably for about three to five minutes, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, just to probably bring it back to the boil again will be enough. So I'm just seeing how this is cooking out. That's just about there. If you just look at that, it's, you can see it's practically cooked, which is enough because all the, most of the juice, the liquor, whatever you call it, will have come out of the fish by now. I'm going to make the pie in this, rather a nice casserole, so I'm just going to lift the fish out and plonk it into the casserole, like that, and then I'll pass off the sauce to get rid of the onion. Well actually I could probably lift that out too. That's enough, but that will have flavoured the, the milk and the cream very nicely. Maybe I'll just put the bay leaf in there. Just get rid of the last of the onions and just search for the last pieces of fish. All I'm going to do now to the top of my um, pie is to add these prawns. Move that to one side and get on with making my um, sauce. Pour off my um, liquid. I'm just going to get some, more, some butter now and stir that into the bottom like that. And then some flour. That's about 50 grams of butter and about 45 grams of flour. And this is making your basic roux. There we go. Now in goes to my, um, into that roux goes my fish flavored milk. Just let that cook out. So that's cooking out very nicely. Let's take the temperature down a bit more. Put in some more milk. The amounts of milk I've put in the recipe below will, I think it, in this case, it's like 600 mils. The sauce is looking a bit too thick when you get to putting the last of the milk in. Just add a bit more milk or water even, just to thin it down a bit. Put the final thing in there, making a bit of a mess. So now I just want to let that simmer away and cook quite gently. Give it a bit of a taste. I think it's going to need... Oh, that's delicious. It's just going to need a little bit more salt. And I'm going to put a bit of nutmeg in there too. About that quarter of a nutmeg. Just put a bit of pepper in there. Lovely. Old-fashioned British cooking. And it's ready. 
doesn't have to be super smooth because you will never notice in the pie whether it wasn't super smooth or not. I'm just going to take that off the heat now and just leave it there. So finally, tarsome business of peeling some eggs. Haven't got any tips on peeling eggs really. Just has to be done. Oh, lovely yolks. A little bit undercooked, but that won't matter. Right, final ingredient, parsley and lots of it. And I'm, not, I'm not that fond of very, very finely chopped parsley. So we'll just do a few passes over there with the, with the knife. And then that can all go over my eggs. Actually, I'll put the rest in the sauce right over the top. But we're not ready to go yet, I'm afraid. And that's why I do think these, this fish pie is probably something you want to make for a lot of people. Bearing in mind, once you've made it, it's made. So it's a great one if you've got lots of people coming around for dinner or something. But what I need to do now, just leave that to chill, otherwise, when I try and put the mashed potato on the top, it'll go bloop, bloop, bloop. So, see you later. Right, well, I just pop that in the fridge so that it's got a nice hard top now. So it'll take my mash, covering the top with the, my glorious mashed potato, aerated, with an egg yolk in it so that it's got a nice colour. Smooth that over in a sec. Really, I think dishes like this is what you should be doing at dinner parties. None of you messing around cooking things at the last minute like I do. Come unstuck. Just a little bit of folder roll. Nothing too fancy. And in the oven for, let us say, 35 minutes. And that's 180 degrees. That's looking very nice a little bit careful because it's very very hot look at that what could be nicer than that British fish pie at its best <laughs>